I've just clicked onto the news and seen the Richie Sunak has said to the fucking Israeli corrupt government that England, United Kingdom support them. No, we don't. You can't speak on behalf of me, Richie fucking Witsy Grub Prime Minister. I do not see you as fucking my leader of the government of the UK. You are not my leader, so you can't speak on behalf of me. Or oh, half of the British public, or most of them, who do not agree with supporting Israel and their corrupt system of how they're bombing schools, killing innocent Palestinians, right? They're bombing hospitals and they're trying to manipulate the fucking public into believing that it wasn't the Israeli government that done it. On top of that, what you've got is the United Nations now refusing to um, allow humanitarian aid to go to Palestine. Thank God President Putin, who I see as a fucking powerful leader, thank God he has now had the guts to send fucking 26 tons of aid to the Palestinians. Now me personally, I rate President Putin, and I'll tell you why, I mean, let me just say something, we're not all gonna have the same um, views, so if you don't agree with mine, don't get offended. But me personally, you gotta understand this, in the United Kingdom and America have done far worse than President Putin ever done when we invaded Iraq based on lies and we killed thousands of innocent Iraqis. And as a result, what we also have done was we fucking set off a chain of events which allowed ISIS and other other um, organizations like that to other sects to flourish, right? Because what happened is when Saddam Hussein was murdered, right? And I say murdered because he shouldn't have been killed, but when he was murdered by the, um, by the Americans, that then allowed all these sex to flourish because fucking what happened is um, Saddam Hussein had control of every single one of them and if anything got above the station he'd shut them down quick so we've done far worse than President Putin's doing in Ukraine right? and when you look at it, the history of Ukraine it was actually part of Russia but regardless of that I'm not even going to get into all that bollocks but I rate Putin so to you Russians good on you for sending fucking aid to the Palestinians because they fully deserve it and it's a, bit, it's a bit ironic, isn't it, that we claim to be a civil world. We claim to be a society that's there to protect and save and whatever else, right? Um, and we, we're led to believe that Rus the Russians and everyone else are bad people. But when you look at it, it only seems to be the Russians that have actually, and people like that, who have actually helped prevent starving kids from starving in Palestine. The Palestinians have not starving because of the Russians. So I've, I've got, you've got to give respect to the Russians for that, to President Putin. But on top of this is, I do not support Israel, not whatsoever. I, I, I've got every sympathy with fucking the fact that Israeli civilians were targeted, because it never should have been, but here's the thing. The Israeli government should know about oppression through fucking the, the Holocaust, right? When they were fucking, put it, like, fucking everything else will happen during Hitler times. But now they're oppressing the, Palestin the Palestinians. And you think it's a bit ironic, isn't it, the fact that... And when you say anything towards them, you say it's anti-Semitic. So it's anti-Semitic and all that. Whatever you want to say, the moment you say something that the, the Israeli government don't agree with, well, it's not. It's just a fact. That they're doing exactly the Palestinians, what Hitler done to them 50 years or 100 years ago, whatever it was, fucking 80 years ago. But yes, yeah, Richie fucking witch stick up fucking Sunak. I don't support you. So don't you fucking speak on behalf of my fucking self and get back to your fucking pizza gate or whatever the fuck you're up to in that government building in a bit.